Okay, this is part three of the Goodwill, the box I got with the three different auctions in it. I mean, this is part two. Did I say three? I mean, part two. I haven't finished my coffee yet this morning. I'm trying to get all the stuff done in the morning so I can take a lazy afternoon. And how many pounds is this one? This one is, this is 2.5 pounds on this one. So it'll be a short video, hopefully, for you. See what's in here. It's like a lot of big stuff. Which is good. And like I said in the other video, I usually bid on these auctions. I bid low. And then just leave it and go away and come back. And if I want, I want. If I haven't, I haven't. But usually there's something in there that I want for me. Or there are things in there that I think the people that buy for me, I know like they buy a lot of turquoise and faux turquoise. So if I see that, I bid. So I don't actually know by the time I get it and then by the time I unbox it what it was I was bidding on. But like I said, I just put my bids in there and go away and come back. So this is cute. I'm sure someone's going to want this. It's a torque. It's a very soft torque. It's not one of the... I've got one that's scratchy and I don't like the scratchy ones. I'm going to switch out the pendant on that one for a chain. But that's very pretty. There's no name on it. I don't think there probably will be in most of this stuff. But that's cute. That's a good start. Like I said, I don't know what I bid on, but other than I bid on this auction. Now, see this? It's cute, but there's something supposed to go here, so maybe we'll find it in the bag. And if not, I have lots of gorgeous stones that could hang down from there. And would be beautiful. It's got some. See that? How it, it's got something supposed to be there. And I can find some. I'm going to put that to one side. Because I have no doubt I will find something right away from my collection. That will work just fine there. Okay. We have these acrylic. Interesting colored acrylic beads. They've got a lobster. They don't look vintage, but they are cute. Look at them, like little disco balls. They're so faceted. In orange, and there's a pink, a little peachy. That's pretty. Put that over here. I saw this one. Now, I know this is acrylic. <laughs> I don't even have to sniff this one. Oh, and it has a price tag. Let's look at it before we look at the price tag. Wow. <laughs> wow. Those are something. I, I really actually like the beads now that I'm looking at it. And these these here are flat backed. But look at the chunky big chunky beads and the big chunky gold chain. It's interesting. Where's the clasp? It's got a... Oh. Does it have a clasp? Yes, it does. Okay, here we go. Lobster clasp. This is from where? From Macy's. Does it have a... $35 from Macy's. It's pretty. Brand spanking new. I wouldn't charge $35 for it, but it's gorgeous. All right, this is weird. I thought it had something spilled on it, but look, it's painted blue here. And there's a section that's not painted. It's kind of cute bangle. I don't think it'll fit me though, because of this part of my hand. Ugh. So frustrating. Okay, this is, um. Different kinds of little seed beads in like a root beer. It has a standard, it looks about, oh my god, that's about 14 inches. But that's cute. That's cute. And I, I would hang something from there. This is, oh, I thought it was going to be. Now this is for a 
small wrist because it's got a very tight stretch to it. That's cute. Beads are nice. I could recycle those beads. Acrylic, of course. Whoop, what's that? Oh, we found it. We found that. I don't know if I'm going to put this back on that necklace or I'm going to put something else, but we'll put it up there and see. Because I'm thinking when I looked at it, a stone would look, a really nice stone would look lovely hanging from there. Okay, we have these, which are so badly in need of restringing, I'm not even going to bother. Put those in a bead lot. They're good beads. All right. Ah. Uh, Very gentle here. Got some shells over here, and I think that was what I did on, actually, because I do like shells. <sighs> this, there's this necklace here that has no end. Or at least it seems as though it has no end. Okay. This has a tag on it. That's NY. It's what? Two strand? Wow. This is huge. It's two strand with these acrylic beads. But look at how long this thing is. Look at this. It's ginormous. I don't know if I could wear that. I'd be down on my knees. I'm so short. All right, let's get this leather one out here. This is kind of cute. Leather with faux. It's cold. It's probably dyed howlite. A leather cuff. Let me see how worn it is on the inside. Oh, it has a 25 cent tag on it. It's probably the Goodwill tag. That's pretty cool, though. It needs some you know, little leather uh, refresher, whatever it's called. Oil's worked into it a little bit, but it's cute. Possible keeper for me. All right, this had something on it. I can feel it. Look how sticky that is. But these beads are lovely. Look at the carved beads. These wood beads can be reused. So we'll stick this up here with the one we have to fix. All right, let's get the portable neck out for this one. Look at that. And I'm looking, looking, looking for anything missing. No, but there's a fuzzy on there. Wow. That is pretty. It needs a little bit of cleaning off, but look at the sparkle on those. Woo! You could signal a jet plane with them. And there's no tag on it. I bet there was at one time, though. This is really pretty. What is this? Hmm. Looks like somebody tried to move the... I can fix that real easily. That is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Put that up there. You can see it looks like somebody moved the... Um, what do you call it? Chain, but they didn't put it on the end where it's supposed to be. So I can fix that with no problems. Here's a. It's on a cord, beaded. Has some lovely beads on it, but that will go in a bead lot because I don't like these faux plastic cords for that. All right, what's this? <sighs> this looks like those little quills. What are they? Does anybody know? Are they porcupine quills or? 
that's stone. I wonder if that's lapis. No, it's got white in it. I don't think lapis. I'll have to look it up and see. I've got to get a book on identifying stones. This is really cute. So light. I mean, it... Usually you find something boho like this, it's not very light. And it has a little hook clasp. It might be handmade. I don't know. Probably. I'll find out what that stone is. Okay, now let's get this stuff over here. We have two. Faux stone. I guess they're supposed to look like stones, but it's acrylic. What's this one? That's some fancy. Ooh. Look at that. Is that pretty? Or what? Look at how pretty that is. I don't honestly know. It's like a mosaic. Oh gosh, that's pretty. And then it's got the different colored seed beads to match the colors that are in that. That is just stunning. Is there a maker's name on it? It appears to be a maker's name on it. Appears to be a problem with one of the things, but I can fix that too. All right, let's see what this says. See if we can use my bigger magnifying glass that I brought out here. It says Chico's. That is really pretty. Well, I'm liking that. Oop, I gotta put that up there because that little strand needs fixing. Well, this is the fix-it lot, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can untangle this mess here. Good grief. All right. I think this is supposed to look like bone, but I don't think it is. Let's put it down here so you can get the full effect. Let's see how I'll untangle this. There we go. That's pretty. It has a Shepherd's hook. Real pretty. Not real lightweight, but not real, real heavy either. All right, we have this faux stone bracelet. Definitely not stone, but it does look, look like stone. Very nice looking bracelet. We have these earrings that match that uh, necklace that we had. So we have a set. See how they match. Always love a set. All right, we have probably this is not. This is dyed howlite. Pretty sure it's probably all going to be dyed howlite. It doesn't look like turquoise. No. But still pretty. Still stone and still pretty. And this is a crypt. Well, 
It's a glass. I thought it was going to be acrylic. All right. Here we go again with the tag I can't read. Let's see. Get the bigger. And still can't read it. What I do when I have trouble and can't read it with magnifying is I take a picture with my phone and then blow that up and I can always read it then. But unfortunately I use my phone to record this, so but this is this is glass. This is nice. It's got some sticky on it, icky on it. Nice. Now we have this, which is Mother of Pearl, acrylic, this is glass, could be stone, but I'm pretty sure it's glass, this is glass, this is Tiger's Eye. That's a cute little one. I don't think it has a tag on it. No tag on it. Look at all the stuff that I'm getting out of the bottom of this bag. Well, that's pretty. Some nice stuff in here. And then this is, I'm pretty sure this is what I bought it for, this shell. This one little tiny shell necklace and two and this one has them little stations with larger shells pretty sure the shell necklace is what I bought it for I do like my shells so I'll have to put these in a bubble wrap thing so they don't break anymore and you can see little a few little pieces came out in the shipping but that is the end of that. I hope you like it. I really like like this one. Oh, and that it has matching earrings. It's so nice. I mean, I really like a lot of them. This is really pretty. Isn't it funny the ones I really like are half of the ones that I have to fix. But we got some really nice stuff. I enjoyed it. And when I can read what those say, maybe I'll know more about what I got. But look at that. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my video. I have so much fun doing this. And thank you very much for viewing my video. Please, um, Subscribe to mine. Put a like if you like this because that really helps my algorithms. And I hope you enjoy these shorter videos. I like doing them. I love doing the shorts. Thank you very much and you have a lovely, lovely day.